Hello and welcome to Mark and Kelly's Triple T. I will be showing you through a room in Homewood Suites. So this is our room. I'm just going to take the camera here. We're going to turn around a little bit and there's Kelly enjoying a little tea. So standard settings in a standard room for Homewood Suites. So we have the table there, a little dining table. You can have your meals or snacks or whatever you like there. The flowers there because it was somebody's birthday. Hence the birthday sign there. So the room is fairly large, as you can see here. Excuse our junk, we've just been shopping. Uh, you have a sofa bed here, you've got your lamp. Lamp here as well. All right, it's evening now as well, so I'll show you the view in a moment, but you've got a, like, a nice little um, sofa chair there as well, and a little poofy, or a little somewhere to sit, and a tiny little coffee table here. That's where the aircon is. We just bunged our suitcases there. So you've got a television there. I'd say what well, that's probably about a 40 inch screen. Um, and then we've got the chest of drawers here as well. So somewhere just to put your knickknacks in. I've just bunged my clothes in here. Uh, spare duvet cover. There we are, my underwear there. So fridge, freezer. I'll pull this, all these will fall over. So standard fridge, freezer, and quite a good size actually. That's enough to put in ice creams or whatever you want to put in there. They do have here, which I believe is actually a ice maker. So there as well, so you can actually make your ice there. Let me just close that up and then open the fridge. So as we see, we've not got much in here because we eat out quite a bit, but that's a really good standard size fridge. You get a lot of stuff in there. So if you are self-catering, you can fit quite a, a large amount of food in there. So you've got good tray sizes here as well. If you wanted to put drinks and stuff, but as we eat out a lot, as you can see, it's quite pitiful, the contents in there. So let's go through here. Now, what you do have, which is a good feature, is you have a dishwasher. So again, as I say, if you are self-catering, you can put quite a few items in there. Um, in terms of cutlery and stuff provided, they do provide you with some stuff, uh, which I'll go into in a minute. So of course you've got your little coffees, teas, we've pilfered some of these from downstairs, but you know, salt, pepper, uh, you've got your coffee there, tea leaf as well, so you've got decaffeinated and regular, English breakfast tea, uh, and you've obviously your sugars and sweet curls and that type of thing. Coffee maker here, which is one of the filter ones. So obviously you just put your uh, filters in there, brew your coffee through, put the water in here. And then obviously you've got your cups there to use. Kitchen towel, sink with a, excuse the sink. Got a bad habit, put my coffee, hence the stains down there. Uh, and obviously a garbage dispenser there if you need it. Cooking hob, so you've got two hobs, large, small. Um, so again, if you want to do self-catering, you can here. You can do your cooking and a very decent sized microwave. So that's quite large, bigger than the ones we'd have in the UK or standard ones you'd have in the UK. Um, so let's go through our items we've got under here. So under here, you've just got spare kitchen towel there, uh, bin, which is quite small, but there is one just behind it. And like I say, so you've got standard cutlery here. Let me just filter in there. So nice forks, can opener, bottle opener, large knife there if you want to do some catering. One pan, frying pan. In there. Nothing in there. Let me just zoom up to here. And then obviously a few plates I think you've got in here. Yeah, so here we are. Three plates, three little... Um, smaller plates and three bowls, your mugs, small cups, large cups, and then we've got two pans, one larger pan which you can also do things like pasta and what had you in it, and the smaller pan there, spare cups. So there we go, notice to guests, and this is really about the um, utensils have been used for guest purposes only so again sanitization you will obviously you would want to clean these before you use them with no idea who's used them before so here we go toaster if you want to use it not plugged in so you just take that down 
can use it if you wanted to. Right, we've gone through the fridge. Television we've done. So let's move into the bedroom. So the bedroom is quite a nice size. That's actually a king size bed. Moving around. So again, excuse our junk. Another large TV, same size as the one that was in the living room. And then you can see we've got the utilities wall there. Some nice decorations there. We've got the view. I'll go, come on to that in a second. Two standard lamps. There we are. Right, now moving around here. So, vanity mirror, as you can see. And again, excuse our junk. But you've got one single um, use sink. A little bit of storage space underneath with the bin. And then in here, your cupboard space. Obviously, you've got mirrors. Not lots of room, but enough probably if you've got uh you know a lot of clothes you could do, you can put those up here and then of course the good thing is you do get an iron and you do get an ironing board and in here hair dryer so if you did forget to bring that you've got one here with a hotel which most hotels do have right bathroom so let's move on to this so like extractor fan if you need it turn that off though because it makes a noise so they always come up with four towels here we normally have hand towels here but they haven't put one here toilet there we are and the bath right now the bath so this is one of those baths that can be a bit annoying so interestingly enough this is actually like a perspex plastic so it's actually waterproof, as you would hope it would be. Um, the shower head is actually fixed. So if you prefer a shower, you can't really move this around. As you can see here, it's come a bit where detached from the wall. So I'll put that back there, but that's, um, you can't really move this around, I've found. So you are pretty standard to, it will just sort of shoot down there. So if you prefer one that's right above hanging down, this might not be for you, but it's okay, it works okay. Um, the only thing I found is with these, you actually have to, I'll get in the bath quickly. You've actually got to put this curtain inside the bath. There's magnets at the base. So you'll hear it click like that, and that will hold. I definitely recommend putting them inside, not outside, because the water will drip. But what I do find is that the water does collect down here, right by the door. No matter how tight I get it to the wall, it's always going to drip there, so I recommend just putting a towel down there. Um, so again, if you have this pushed down, you, it'll come out here for the bath. If you put it up, it'll have for the shower. What I did notice with this is you've got to turn this all, pretty much all the way around, otherwise it's hot until you move it to here. So you just keep going around, but you will get it to the temperature you do like. Uh, in terms of shower items which we always like to use they tend to bring them here so you do get uh, shampoo conditioner body lotion cap and soap as well and there you have right so the view right now the view is pretty much now depending obviously where in the hotel you are ours is now, bear in mind, it is in the evening. We're right in front of the American flag. So our view is not too bad. You can just about see the Orlando Eye. That's that flashing in the distance there. Um, so ours is, we're right at the front of the building. You can see that's the main entrance port there. And you can see the cars coming through as well. So the cars will come through that little angle there. Um, so we've got quite a fairly nice view of the front there. And you can see and like that's the Hyatt, which is another hotel across the way. There, and as you can see, that's as I've just pointed out, that's the Orlando, Orlando Eye. It's not going to really zoom in at the moment, there anyway. That's the Orlando Eye uh, fairground ride attraction. So, if you're on this side of the building, that's heading out towards uh, International Drive, which you can't really see. That beyond that, if you can just make out the red lights behind the tree, that is, I believe that's Hooters. So you've got Hooters and you've got Senor Frogs, and that's essentially International Drive, but you can't really see from here. Um, 
there you have it. Anyway, there you go. So that gives you an idea of what the room is. So it's a nice sized room. You know, what's good about this actual room itself is you do have, like I say, a living space here. So you can chillax in the living area there, or if you want to, on the bed. Some places we stayed before just have the bedroom and that is it. So it is nice to just have this area there. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, feel free to leave comments below and uh, we will sign and say goodbye. Bye for now.